in virtual dj the crossfader is a crucial control that allows djs to smoothly transition between two tracks adjusting the volume and balance of each song here's a breakdown of the crossfader's function there are three main functions of the crossfader that you have to know the first function of a crossfader is volume control the crossfader adjusts the volume of each track allowing you to fade one track out while bringing the other in and then the second function of the crossfader is that balance control the crossfader also controls the balance between the two tracks enabling you to adjust the levels of each song and then the third function of the crossfader is transition control by moving the crossfader you can control the transition between tracks creating smooth blends or cuts so those are the three main functions of a crossfader on virtual dj so after understanding the main functions of a crossfader you need to know the modes of the crossfader so virtual dj offers different crossfader modes including one soft takeover mode Mod. It is a mod which helps in smooth transitioning between tracks. And then the second mod is hard takeover. It is an instant switch between tracks. This is more or less the opposite of the first mod. So the second one is the hard takeover. And then the last mod is the cut. I think most of us DJs know the meaning of cut in virtual DJ. I bet you know how to use the crossfader to cut your scratches to produce a scratch called the stab scratches if you don't know the meaning of stab scratches i've made a tutorial here click on this link so that you'll be able to know the meaning of stab scratching where you use the crossfader to cut your scratches so those are the three modes of the crossfader that you need to know after knowing the functions of the crossfader so the good thing with virtual dj virtual dj allows you to customize the crossfader's behavior including the curve adjustment where you'll be able to adjust which mode of the crossfader you want to achieve adjust the crossfader's curve to change the transitions smoothness or sharpness like if you want to change the smoothness and sharpness of the crossfader go to settings and then head over to options and then up here type curve so you'll be able to see this option here mine is set to full but you can come to this small arrow here click on it so that you'll be able to choose between these curves here you can choose smooth to smooth the newer transition and you can choose scratch or cut or custom so it depends on your preference on what you want to achieve using the crossfader so for me i will put it on scratch because i like scratching while using the crossfader and then the second customization you can make to the crossfader is crossfader assignment you can assign specific functions to the crossfader such as controlling effects or filters so those are the customization you can make to the crossfader so here are the three key mappings of the crossfader that you have to know so that you'll be able to use the crossfader as a professional dj so let's head over to settings controllers and then advanced editor here are top three crossfader mappings that i use so the first two crossfader mappings that i set on virtual dj first of all i'll choose the key i'll choose this key here but you can choose any key of your choice for me i'll choose the left arrow key here and then in the action box i will type in crossfader plus 10 percent and then i will use the right arrow key i will type in the action box crossfader minus 10 percent these two mappings here will help me to move the crossfader from the left deck to the right deck or either from the right deck to the left deck this is what should happen you see that as i press the key it will start to move towards the deck like this so this is the first two mappings that i like to set on the crossfader 
So the second mapping that I set on the crossfader is for smooth transitioning between the two tracks that I play on Virtual DJ. So here is the mapping. I first choose the key that I want to use. So here let me choose the control key on the keyboard and then in the action box I will type in auto underscore crossfade space 5000 or 7000 ms and then space i will allocate it to go to 100 percent which is towards the deck b so this 7000 here is the speed at which this crossfader should move so i will save it and then here is how it helps you in transitioning so when i click on the key i've set the crossfader starts to move to the left hand side okay that is so smooth and then the second button i'll use will be the alt key on the keyboard i'll type in auto underscore crossfade space minus seven thousand ms and then space zero percent this one here will move towards the deck a which is the zero point of the crossfader so that is the second two mappings that i set on the keyboard for the crossfaders so the last two mappings for the crossfaders that i set on virtual dj are these ones here i use the one key on the keyboard and then i will type in the action box crossfader zero percent while underscore rest so this is the first mapping i use and then the second key will be for this one crossfader 100 percent while underscore rest so after setting all the mappings here i will go and save the mappings so after setting close everything close this small window here and then now let us test the mappings using songs on virtual dj here okay so check this out <laughs> Lastly, by mastering the crossfader in Virtual DJ, you'll be able to create seamless transitions. You can be able to add texture to your mixes and take your DJ skill to the next level. So I recommend you watch this tutorial here so that you will know my top 10 tips and tricks that I use on Virtual DJ. So click on it and then see you right in.